सर अंडर पैराग्राफ 16 ऑफ द सिक्स शेड्यूल टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द गवर्नर मे ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ अ कमीशन अपॉइंटेड अंडर पैराग्राफ 14 ऑफ द सेड शेड्यूल ऑर्डर द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल ऑन चार्जेस ऑफ करप्शन इन द कमीशन रिपोर्ट देयर आफ्टर ही मे डायरेक्ट दैट ऑफ प्रेस जनरल इलेक्शन सेल बी हेल्ड इमिडिएटली फॉर द रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ द काउंसिल ही मे ऑल्सो एज्यूम द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द एरिया अंडर द अथॉरिटी ऑफ द काउंसिल हिमसेल्फ आर प्लेस द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ सच एरिया अंडर द कमीशन अपॉइंटेड अंडर द सेड पैराग्राफ आर एनी अदर बॉडी कंसिडर्ड स्वेटेबल बाई हिम विद द प्रीवियस अप्रूवल ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर But now under the present bill the governor will not be required to get the approval of the state legislature if he wants to assume the administration of the area under the authority of a council himself the governor can now dissolve the district council with the consent of the council of ministers consequently the Representatives of the people in the legislature will be deprived of expressing their views on the dissolution of the council. So the present bill strikes at the very root of democracy. The present bill relates to Tripura and Mizoram. We have five crores tribals in our country. What is the condition of these tribals? What facilities do these tribals enjoy to develop themselves educationally and culturally? How is it that under the constitution, even after 53 years of independence, we have not yet been able to provide sufficient facilities to the tribals to enable them to develop their language, culture, and education? who is responsible for it according to me the ruling party at the center who is ruling most of the state governments is responsible for it because it favors of the majority community people in a state to keep itself in power the ruling party neglects the interest of tribal minorities to please the majority community people i feel that every tribal community in this country has got the right to preserve its language and culture under the constitution the same constitution gives the tribals safeguard and autonomy to keep their tradition heritage and self determination so in various parts of the country the tribals are now demanding autonomy but the government of india is concentrating powers instead of accepting the demands of the tribals for autonomy as in the case of tripura now the tribals have become minority there the language and culture of the majority people there are very much developed so the main question before tripura is how to preserve language and culture of the tribals the sixth schedule to the constitution gave constitutional guarantees to the tribals for the preservation of their language and culture it is very unfortunate that the said schedule is now being amended for it nitching away the constitutional rights the tribals of tripura struggled long for the formation of autonomous district council they got their autonomous district council after the left front government came to power there what happened during the last election in tripura it is known to the honorable minister and to the people of tripura 10 days before election tripura national volunteers murdered people of majority community in tribal areas in order to create a feeling of insecurity among them 
taking advantage of the insecurity of the people of the majority community the central government declared tripura a disturbed area and developed army there the ruling party exploited the issue of security for the people of the majority community and came to power unjustly now the present bill seeks to please the people of the bengali origin in tripura entire tribal community are against this bill what is the view point of the tribals in the north eastern region about this bill the tribals in the said region held meetings and submitted memorandum to the central government they also met the minister the minister assured them that the draft bill which had been sent to them by the central government would be discussed with them before it was given the final say sir no district council of the north eastern region has supported the present bill the autonomous district council of tripura has unanimously protested against this bill therefore i would request the honorable minister to withdraw this bill this bill cannot satisfy the tribals of tripura and the north eastern region this bill will lead them to the path of destruction therefore the honorable minister should withdraw this bill in order to safeguard the interest of the tribals in tripura sir <clears throat> tripura was included in the sixth schedule in 1984 having no power in the district council there were commitments in the memorandum of settlement of tripura and mizoram with a view to safeguarding the interests of the minority tribals in these states as well as restoration of peace and normalcy in mizoram and tripura there were underground activities going on for years together it was the feeling of the tribal people that they would lost their identity in future